Unit 1 Exam Review, question number 14. As a student at BYU-Idaho, you have the option to rent or buy textbooks. As you use the quantitative reasoning process to determine whether to buy or rent your textbooks, which of the following assumptions would not be useful for this model? Question uh, Option number one, assuming the textbook is in a similar condition whether you buy or rent, assuming you have enough money to either buy or rent, Assuming many other students will want to rent instead of buy. Assuming the textbook is needed for the class. Assuming the textbook is readily available whether you buy or rent. The first thing I want to discuss is uh, the first option here. Assuming the textbook is in a similar condition whether you buy or rent. Over here, uh, just as a reminder of what an assumption is, this is an idea or a concept that you accept to be true. So. Uh, is it helpful in our quantitative reasoning process to um, assume that the textbooks are in similar condition whether you buy it or rent it? This this one I believe will help uh, help you to uh, make the decision because uh, it doesn't matter what condition you're going to get whether you rent or buy. So it's a good assumption to make so that you don't. Um, have to balance that into your decision-making process. The next one, we are going to assume that you have enough money to rent or buy. Uh, oops, I accidentally selected that, so uh, that's not the answer. I'm just moving through. So number two, uh, we are going to assume that we have enough money to either rent it or buy it so that that doesn't play into the decision-making process of renting or buying. So we're going to make that assumption that it doesn't matter um, financially for us. The next one, assuming that many other students will want to rent instead of buy. This one kind of gives us um, uh, kind of a red flag that there are other students who will want to rent instead of buy. This is not a key assumption that I need to um, go into um, except is true. It shouldn't um, make my decision if other students are renting or buying. Um, that's the variable. That That's something that can change. So we're not going to keep it as an assumption. Uh, the next one. So then we're going to go to assuming the textbook is needed for the class. That is a fantastic assumption we should make that indeed the textbook is needed and that will help us make our decision um, that we actually need to rent it or buy it and that the textbook is needed. The next one is assuming the textbook is readily available whether you buy it or rent it. So um, again, another nice assumption when we're going through the process. This is just something you should accept as, okay, that's it's going to be available whether I buy it or rent. So the one that we should not accept as an assumption would be this one here that many other students will want to rent instead of buy. This will be a variable, uh, not an assumption. And so and that is one we don't want to accept as being true.